all right hello everyone how are you all doing today just a quick video on the terry cruz real quick one of my favorite actors because he's just got such a boisterous fun personality and now people are attacking him for his supposed uh, controversial tweets which really is uh, just boils down to don't replace hate with more hate because that doesn't solve anything and suddenly he's uh, in the minds a thought criminal to these people. So Terry Crews stands his ground after controversial black supremacy tweet. Terry Crews, and look at this beautiful man, isn't he just the pinnacle of lovingness? Terry Crews found himself urging against groupthink Monday after a tweet of his that used the phrase black supremacy sparked a trending, trend-setting backlash on social media. Defeating white supremacy without white people creates black supremacy. Equality is the truth. The America's Got Talent host tweeted Sunday afternoon, like it or not, we're all in this together. Which is very true. If you're gonna be replacing hate with hate, it's never going to solve anything because it just enters that cycle that people get, uh, that destructive cycle of uh, an eye for an eye makes the whole world blind. A couple of hours later, black supremacy was trending big time on Twitter, and Cruz took time to respond to two of the many thousands of people reacting to his words. Defeating white supremacy without white people creates black supremacy. Equality is the truth. They quote. While he provided explanations about what he posted, he did not apologize. Which again, you never do to these people because they will just eat you alive. Never apologize for your opinions. There's nothing to apologize for. You have a right to be an asshole. Despite callouts from the likes of director Matthew A. Cherry, journalist uh, Jamil Hill, and actor Orlando Jones, among thousands of others, Black jo supremacy, Jones said, we represent 13% of the U.S. population, hold no institutional power, even though we had a black president. That is the pinnacle of institutional power here. You have people on their knees begging for forgiveness. How is that not institutional power and gaslighting? Gaslight our co-workers. We got 99 problems and your math isn't the only one. Stronger together. After comedian Godfrey stated that black supremacy didn't exist except among racist whites, Cruz agreed to the fact that there can be racist blacks too, I hope. And then the Brooklyn Nine-Nine actor said he wasn't talking about the white people in his original tweet, but rather those he called gatekeepers of blackness within the black community, which is a heavy problem going on. If you don't think like them, if you don't act like them, if you don't dress a certain way, you are somehow not black enough. If you don't have this attitude, you're not black enough. Within the black community, noting he'd been called out in the past as not being black enough. No, he's a good person with a good personality, and somehow that's not black enough. And then another quote. I agree. I'm not discussing white people here. There are gatekeepers of blackness within our community who decide who's black and who's not. I often have been, I have often been called out for not being black enough. How can that be? To another Twitter user who said he couldn't use his platform to say something like that, Cruz replied, Kevin, I've learned that people will take anything you say and twist it for their own evil. Anything. And we've seen examples of this time and time again. Just recently, someone else, an actor, lost his role because of tweets from 10 years ago that were on the edgy side 
it's absolutely absurd that people twist something a kid says and blames it on the current uh, you know personality people are grow up their ideas change their humor changes uh, i doubt any kid now in the past or in the pre future will stop having edgy humor within you know those early years of life it's just uh, something that you explore and uh, something you get knowledge of uh, later on now On Monday morning, Cruz further explained that m what motivated his words, which he said came from a spirit of r love and reconciliation for the black community and the world. I believe it is important that uh, we not suffer from groupthink and we keep minds we keep minds of our own and be allowed to ask different questions to each other. I believe this dialogue is important as we get through this trauma together. I love you, Harry Cruz uh, states. And just what a great message to be putting out there and something we really do need more of because there are people who get so stuck in their own identity or, or trying to be special that they forget that they're individual people who can question every bit of knowledge that comes their way not just blindly hate uh, different platforms or people for holding different ideas. <sighs> just crazy. Cruz courted controversy earlier this year when he didn't backfire, didn't backfired. America's Got Talent judge Gabriel Union after she alleged late last year that racist and sexist behavior had occurred on set and there's such a different standard for what things are considered racist and sexist for some of these people that you you can't really say anything on those topics and why i think that it's just better to be uh no no idea that can't be touched or expressed. Everything should just be quite allowed in a discussion. I can't speak for sexism because I'm not a woman, but isn't he the same one who was sexually harassed on set? But I can speak on behalf of any racial racism comments the host said on the Today Show in January. That was never my experience on America's Got Talent. In fact, it was the most diverse place I have ever been in my 20 years of entertainment. The top 10 acts were Asian, women, older, younger, black, white. It was everything in the gamut. An external investigation by NBC which also airs Brooklyn Nine-Nine, found no truth to the union's allegation that she was fired for speaking up about alleged racism and sexism. Last week, the actress filed an employment discrimination suit against the network, alleging in part to that Paul Taleggi, chairman of NBC Entertainment, had threatened her when she spoke up about the show's toxic environment. But these places are ready to shut down any of those types of allegations if they were true. A lot of places are on the witch hunt. Are on a witch hunt to find all the, anything that resembles sexism and discrimination. Because they want those virtue signal points. So anybody who's being fired is clearly not for those reasons because... People are being fired for going against those ideas that these things exist. And I can't really understand why people keep alleging to toxic environments when they, all these people can't even say a different opinion or else someone will get butt hurt.
with the drama fading a bit in his rearview mirror, Cruz posted a lengthy video statement on Instagram a few days after George Floyd's death, George Floyd's death, in which he noted that he looks like Floyd and repeatedly said it could have been him in the deadly situation with police. Easily, all of this could be me. I've come close, he said. Cruz has also posted video noting that white people who committed vandalism during recent Black Lives Matter protests were not helping anyone. Like the protests were hoping in the beginning, though. And again, people don't know, this isn't general knowledge yet, that the cops have already been charged, tried, and uh, placed in uh, custody. All four of them have lost their jobs, especially uh, the main cop who this who was kneeing the guy. He is once again suspended, lost his job, lost, losing his wife. It, she filed for divorce. The guy's been punished enough, and people don't see it that way. They want more and more and more because they're just lazy. They're opportunistic. They just want more for themselves well i don't think so i agree with uh, cruz for the most part he, he's right that we can't just replace hate with more hate and keep this cycle going it has to stop somewhere and it should stop with us honestly if we were ever gonna get anywhere that about does it for this video though if you've enjoyed uh, listening to me go ahead and leave a like maybe even subscribe otherwise uh, let me leave a comment down below and let me know how i can improve on my content i'll see you guys next time take care